All right, Virgo, here we go. This is a Soulmate Energies update, or for you, more of a broad spectrum update because you're popping up in my pre-shuffle here a little bit, but so is uh, someone else, something else. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, it's a, we'll call it a Soulmate Energies update for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for April 2022. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Okay. Uh, something's coming at you. I don't know what. Hey, it could be your soulmate. It could be something else. Hey, it could be just something like it. I've been telling you this for a while. The universe seems to be throwing the past at you. Okay? It's throwing something your way. I've got the King of Swords crossed by the Page of Cups. It's... It's... Mm, it's either someone who once cut you out or something you once cut out that's coming back around. Okay, can I phrase it like that? It's a general reading. It's the best I can do. Um, it, it causes a bit of a reset for you. I, this is death rebirth, but I'm going to call it reset. Okay? Uh, and this death rebirth here is crossed by the Five of Cups. Essentially, this is, a, well, this is a card of regret, loss, sadness. Something you thought you lost was actually with uh, a benefit to you. Can I phrase it that way? I will. Uh, you've got love coming your way. You've got brand new love coming your way. That's the energy I get off of this Knight of Cups. All right. But you've also got an old situation coming your way or something similar to it. You've got two things. You've got a Knight of Cups and a Page of Cups. And I look to tell which one's better. Okay. These are two separate things. This is something brand new that you might not be used to. This is something you've seen before. They either cut you out or you cut it out or you should have cut it out or whatever coming back at you, okay? And, and to tell what I see is or, or which one is better, I got to see what's crossing the Knight of Cups here. Or I should say what's bookending the Page of Cups. And that, that is a Six of Wands reversed. Whatever this old thing is that's coming your way is the opposite of success, okay? Uh, the Six of Wands is bookending in my pre-shuffle, the Page of Cups. The Six of Wands, however, is reversed, okay? That is uh, lack of victory, right? It's, it makes the positive negative, essentially. So whatever it is, whenever you're faced with situations from the past, things that remind you of situations from the past, err on the side of this is shit. There's ten wands of burden there for you. It's about your energy, the energy around you. It's a very attracting energy, by the way. Um, it's all about that death card. That death card is very important to all signs here in uh, April. It just keeps coming up. I can't get rid of it. And it's very important. You're all transitioning into something new. If you want that old situation when it comes back, you can do what you want. You have free will just like everyone else. But the real victory is in mm, new roads, new horizons. Okay? That's, that's what the uh, energy is saying. You do what you want. All right? It's no big deal. Either way, let's pull you a reading. Let's see where we go. Um, I do see some old situations coming your way and some new ones. And it's, it's sort of a case of one of these things just doesn't belong here sort of a thing. Let's see where we go. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? Mm -hmm. It's about the past. The universe wants to talk about past situations, past things, past stuff that's coming your way. Six of Cups, things from the past. That's why the fuck we're here. It was giving you the other thing, the Knight of Cups, as a bonus, a carrot on the end of a stick. But, okay, all right. Why, why is the Six of Cups here? What comes after the cut? What comes after the cut for my Virgos? Yeah. Three of Pentacles. So, um, things with no foundation. Things that need to be started from zero. Things from the past that show up that would need to be started from ground zero and started all over are why we're here. That's what, it's what this reading is about. So it could be a soulmate who ran away from you. Or it could just be a situation that's similar to the soulmate. Or around the soulmate. Or a person like them, for example. Again, of all the signs, Virgo, you've gone, you're one of the signs that's gone through some of the most growth. Okay? Within yourselves. And you're going to have, you're going to be confronted. The universe is going to test you. You're going to be confronted with things from the past. Okay? You are. If, if, if you're a former drug addict, you're going to find yourself in front of a pile of heroin, a pile of cocaine, whatever. You know, if you're a former alcoholic, you're going to find yourself at a fully stocked bar, you know, looking around. 
how how are you going to do what, what where are you going to go how how's that free will it's almost and a lot of energy readers say this it's not just me it's almost like to the universe it's some sort of a game it's some sort of it almost backs up that video game theory the commu the computer simulation theory of the universe where there's someone just waiting to see what you're going to do okay let's put them in this situation and let's see what they do you know kind of a thing like that it is that kind of energy i'm not saying that's what's going on i'm not saying god or source of the universe thinks we're some kind of game uh it's it's just a metaphor but it, it is why situations from the past return especially when we've grown even the bird knows and he a pisces you know let's shuffle the deck here here's your reading ten swords is the overall energy of your reading let it go this is the ten the ten is the end and dead end of something you are way past whatever is in your past you need to try drive down some new roads meet some new people find some new things get some new things going and I'm not telling you what to do don't come back at me and go well I don't blah, 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 and I don't this and I don't anything I don't care I'm telling I'm just reading the energy that's all I'm doing all right and that's what it is here it's time for 10 yeah look at that new love get out with the old in with the new it's representing these two cards right here would represent the new cycle we're moving into it's different now things are different you're different the environment the core energy you're operating in is different and as we move through April it's gonna set in it's gonna be more and more different this is amazing energy here Virgo this is amazing let's see where we go right here's the energy around you I, I, I would say I, I'm gonna have to pull a straight up reading for you I think I, I don't think I can do my standard reading for you uh, I'm gonna pull Sort of like what I do for the Cure for Cancer readings, if you've ever seen any of those. Five cards from the bottom here. I'm going to keep pulling from the bottom. Five cards of affecting energy, and then eight cards of energy up top. And we'll see what the universe wants to tell you, okay? Let's see where we go. And I, I will clarify. Four of those cards are clarifiers, just a plus a crossing card. Uh, so Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, we talked about. The Two of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Three of Pentacles came back. And I always show the sixth card. I'll do it because it's just there. Ten of Cups. Okay? Um, this, this can be a card of, uh, well, kind of deluding ourselves a little bit. Okay? It's very clear here that, that on one hand, something from the past is coming back. There is a soulmate trying to come in, and there's a soulmate that's coming back. There's a new love that's coming in. It is a soulmate. But something from the past is coming back. Something's going to cause you conflict here. It's something that, because this energy is split on this Two of Cups. It's something, the affecting energy is two roads. I'll phrase it to you that way, okay? Because it's a general reading. You got two roads you can take. There might as well have been a Two of Swords here. This Two of Cups might as well be two swords. There's two roads you can take. It's a love crossroads in this case, all right? Um, one of them is new. One of them is terrific, and one of them is fraught with conflict and needs to be started over. Ten, uh, the, ten, uh, cup, the Ten Swords here is bookending this. You've got to put an end to this one. The universe is suggesting you go down new roads. Because the old thing, probably what I used to pull in your readings all the time, hasn't changed. All right, It's disappointing on some level. It's fraught with conflict. It may get you in your head, too. If this person did you wrong... It may get you in your head, and you might miss this. There's a lot to see down the new roads. The old road is the same old shit. Ten of Swords cuts both ways. Get, cut, cut this out and start, start anew, brand new. This resets to an ace. What's well, an ace right here? It's not an ace of swords, but it's still an ace, okay? So well, let's see what's on top. Let's see where we go here. Yeah, again, I... I I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not bullshitting you here, okay? This card, the world, represents the new cycle. The new. Out with the old, in with the new. It's right here. It's about the new cycle that we're entering into. Things are different. You've, you've learned all these spiritual lessons. If you go backwards in any way, you're limiting yourself. You're, you're, just, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Your, your life will stay the same. If you're poor now, you'll continue to be poor. If you're bored now, you'll continue to be bored. If you've been hurt, you'll continue to get hurt. It's about the new cycle. It is what it is. New. Happy new beginnings. The new cycle brings happy new beginnings. It will bring things your way. It'll bring soulmates. It'll bring new love. 
opportunity for you. Your growth is being rewarded. Okay, be careful about temptations from the past. Ah, uh, these come. This comes up in your readings a lot. I don't know what's going on. I know you lot are pretty smart, you Virgos, but I'm not seeing smart here. I'm seeing someone who's being short-sighted and taking an easy way toward they. I don't know. Um, there's a definite split here. We'll, we'll find out more as we go. Ace of Wands. Look at all these new begin. Look at this shit. You see this shit? New cycle. Happy new beginning. Passionate new beginning. The universe is pushing you toward the new. This Ten of Swords is split. On the one hand, you need to put Ten Swords in this conflict from the past that might be coming back as a Page of Cups or might come and show up as other things, right? Similar things. Um, it's it's there's nothing here these are children on this card it's 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 the way things were it's like the way you were when you were a child you know i always tell people all the time especially you know people that don't evolve much in their lives that i run into if you're still the same person at 45 that you were at 25 something's gone horribly wrong and it's very true that's one of our biggest periods of growth in our lives it's very true it's it, the universe is saying you're ready for that growth right now and I'm not saying that's your age group I know you're all different age groups but it is something for you younger people to keep in mind that you're going to change a lot between 25 and 45 so make goddamn sure you don't make too many major decisions before your frontal lobe develops if you're 25 because you're not quite a grown up yet actually you might you, you might have your boot your, your uh, all your all, all your bits and stuff but uh, you know your brain hasn't finished growing yet the truth of the matter is for all of you, it's about the new roads. It really is. It's about the new roads. Look at that. Three of Cups. Celebration. Mm. The new cycle is something to be celebrated, is what the universe is trying to tell you. It leads to happy new beginnings, the road to the real Ten of Pentacles for you, and passionate new beginnings. We're going to clarify this. The universe does not want to talk about any shit about the past here. Any shit about past people or anything like that. Yeah, they might show up, but they're, they're tests. They're temptations. You've got to turn toward the new. And if you don't know what the new is yet, it will present itself as we move into the new cycle more. We're not there yet. Be patient. All right? Chill. Learn some temperance. Uh, we're not all fully in the new cycle of core energy yet that we've been talking about here. I said, as we move through April, we get more and more into it. By the time we leave April and get into May, we're into it. We're into the new cycle. Opportunities will start coming your way. Those lessons you learned from the past will need to be applied because things from the past will show up. And you need to decide, am I going to go backwards or forwards in life? The forwards looks beautiful to me. You know, you want to know what the backwards is? It's five wands and ten swords and three pentacles with children on it, right? The forward, moving forward, is two cups, ace of cups. Uh, the world that, that by itself is nice. Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Three of Cups, Celebration. Let's clarify. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? That's what the universe wants to talk about. That's what it wants to tell Virgo here for April. I don't think it's a bad reading at all. I think it's saying you're terrific. And, you know, hey, if you're offended that you're 25 and I, I called you a child, well, I'm sorry, but psychologically you are. Your frontal lobe is just finishing developing. In fact, it's developing later and later in people as, as we move through time and technology takes over our lives and shit. Might not be fully developed now in, in some people until they're 27 or 28. You know, you got to be careful about those decisions. You know, move forward in life. That's the advice I give anybody in their 20s. I always did. I always kept moving forward. I never looked back. People wanted to get back together with me. Ex-girlfriends, can we get back together? Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Uh, nope. Because it's going backwards. I, I always knew how energy worked. And, and it's about forward movement. It's about growth. Energy wants to, as we go through life, we need to grow our energy. Going backwards just keeps it stagnant and stale. Mm. And that's how you end up. I've got friends that I knew when I was 25 who are now 45, 46, 47. And they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. Nothing fucking different about them. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, you know, nothing's changed. It's sad on some level. Don't do that. Flow with energy. Right now, energy's trying to flow for you in a big way. It's a big jump. It's a big jump, Virgo. It really is. Why is the world here? Let's go. 
The world is crossed by justice. Do you need any more fucking proof of what I'm saying? I'll read the fucking energy first and then pull the cards. If you're sitting there, you're disappointed that I said, well, your, your soulmate might come back or the universe doesn't want to talk about that. And you're going to go off and find somebody else's reading that you're, you're missing out. Okay? Because, or you maybe you didn't take the opportunity of the spiritual journey. Not all Virgos have. Those who've been watching me have. But maybe, maybe you're new here. And you're all new and you're brand new to this. I don't know. Go watch some old readings, I guess. Uh, but Justice, Virgo, you've moved down some roads here. You've got a lot coming your way. Energy is balancing. This new cycle is really good for you. It's really good. What's on top? Jesus. You know it, too. Yep, that high priestess, you know it. You can feel it. You might be feeling weird. You might even be feeling depressed as the old cycle ends and the new cycle comes in. So you might be clinging to old things. That's fine. Let the energy flow. This goes with what I was just telling you about letting the energy flow. This new cycle is good for, for a lot of people. And in particular, since I'm talking to you, Virgo. Um, tell me about the Four of Wands here. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is this here? Let's see where we go here. Tell me about the Four of Wands. I've been doing a lot of energy riffing in these April readings. And I gave you some there. Alright? I did. Well, do what you want with the information, but this is what the energy is saying. Uh, page of Wands. Yeah, it's about, again, Four of Wands, Page of Wands crossing the Four of Wands. Uh, go into the new cycle with a fresh perspective. Go into it with some zest for life, you know? Don't worry about what happened in the past. Learn the lessons from it and put it in the past. And when something from the past comes back and shows up in your face, you know, someone waving a waving cocaine in your face or a bottle of whiskey or whatever fuck you used to do. Walk away from it. Now nah, I'm past that, man. I'm cool. You know, I'm all different now. You know, that kind of thing. Whatever it is. I mean, those are extreme examples. But I make extreme examples to get to hammer my point home. There's all kinds of shit that's going to be coming back to test you. Go into the go. You can feel that that the, the, the new energy coming in is really good. I know you can if you quiet your mind. Go into it with that child that still exists in you. And you'll be surprised at what happens. You will. Be the party girl a little bit. You know, she doesn't care. She's going to the party to have some fun. Go into this thinking it's going to be good. Knowing it's going to be good. Feeling it's going to be good. And it'll be good. You'll attract that energy. You have a very strong attracting energy around you. Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You're also attracting a lot of attention. Or you will. In the new energy. Which we're not quite in yet. Alright, right here. What's on top of the Four of Wands? Another page. Page of Swords. Same, same message. Same thing. You know? Uh, just It's about learning. It's about trying new things. Taking, going down new roads. It's all page energy around this Four of, of Wands. That tells me those happy new beginnings. Look at the people on the Four of Wands here. Look at them. You know, they're just they're having fun. They're partying. They're having a good time. Try to lighten up. Try to have a good time. Try to relax. Enjoy your life. Be happy to be alive. Be happy every morning when you wake up that you're fucking alive. That you get to be here. You get to try again. Every day is a new opportunity to do something different, for something different to happen. If it doesn't happen, don't be disappointed. It just didn't happen that day. Maybe it'll happen the next day. I don't know. Neither do you. So, again, that's what this energy is. All right? Because shit is going to happen. All right? And it's going to come out of nowhere, I suspect. Uh, but it is happening in the new cycle. The, the old cycle that we're coming out of, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I wrote a whole blog article on it. In with the old, in with the new and out with the old. I always get that backwards when I say it. Uh, and also, I've been talking about it on every video I've been doing lately. You know, because it's very important that you all understand it. And the old cycle is about your spiritual journey. It's about learning your lessons, finding yourself. Well, it looks like you found yourself. Now you just need to relax into it a little bit for most of you, okay? Uh, keep that spirit alive. Why is the uh, Ace of Wands here? Now we get to the good stuff. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Tell me about it. My God, these, this is an amazing pull for you. Everybody should want to be a Virgo right now in this energy, in this new cycle. Jesus. I wonder why that is. I'll have to look into the energy and see why it's so Virgo friendly. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Ace of Wands, why is it here? It's probably some specific reason. Uh, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Oh, 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 it's magic. Holy shit. 
Well, it's a very interesting card crossing it. It's not all roses and rainbows in these readings, always. It's the devil. It's a toxin. It's a passionate new beginning. It's getting, but it'll be, you'll be tempted along the way. Again, it's a warning about old stuff coming your way. The devil energy is still there within you. That's why you're being encouraged with these pages here around the Four of Wands. It's a devil. And right here, the Eight of Cups. Walk away. It, it's, the cow, it's the coward of the county, right? From uh, Kenny Rogers, right? Where he's, he's thinking about what his dad says to him. He says, walk away from trouble if you can. You know, you don't have to fight to be a man or whatever. But the line, walk away from trouble if you can, is ringing to mind here. I've got the devil crossing the Ace of Wands, crossed by the Eight of Cups. And there's an emperor underneath it that tells me there's still someone thinking about you. There's still someone that you might still be thinking about and obsessing about and wondering about. Knock it the fuck off, okay? Leave the door open for them. If they want to come into the new you and the new energy, let them. If they don't suck, go ahead and bang them. If they do suck, go ahead and bang them anyway if you want to, if you're horny enough. Either way, walk away if there's shit overall. It's about these past temptations. You gotta, you're going to be tempted. You've got to walk away from the past to get these new opportunities. What's on top? Man, it's beautiful right there. It's a perfect image. Ten wands. New opportunities for a passionate new beginning in a new direction. You need to pack your bags. Ten, tens of the end. This, why is this important? Ten wands resets to an ace of wands. It's sitting on top of an ace of wands with a devil and an eight of, of cups uh, crossing it. Again, it's, it's a burden sometimes. Sometimes it's scary. New beginnings. Yeah, it is. It's all new energy you're going to be living in. It's fucking scary. I have no doubt. But you got to walk away from things that don't suit you. Things that you're obsessing about. Things that you're holding on to. That you think you're tied to. The devil is about illusion. You're not really tied to anything. You can let that go. Again, I hearken you back to your, your soul energy. Your intuition knows this new cycle is good. and knows everything I'm saying is true. Especially if you don't think it is. Because that's you thinking right now. That's your brain, your ego trying to protect you going, this guy don't know what he's talking about. This guy don't know what he's talking about. Well, I do. Okay? And your, the fact that you're saying that means that your intuition knows I do. Your brain's job is to protect you and shut that shit down. This line of cards is telling you not to. There's a lot of new beginnings coming. You've got to have some childlike zest for it. You know, just go for Go for shit. And when old stuff comes in, walk away towards your happiness. Let it go. It's a burden that will slow down all these new beginnings trying to happen. It'll, it'll take all the fire out of what would have been a passionate new beginning. It'll make it lackluster. This resets to this. This is perfect in a reading telling you to walk away from any kind of devil energy around you. Most of it's from the past and it'll be put in front of you not to not so much to test you, as I said earlier, which is generally how the universe looks at it. But it's more a case of so you can deal with it and get rid of it. You know? Alright. Three of Cups. This is celebration. It's celebration energy around this. It's you being emotionally open in the new cycle. It's bookending the world. It's a beautiful energy. The world with the Three of Cups is a beautiful energy. I don't get it very often in readings. Why is the Three of Cups here? Tell me about this. So this is technically our final final on the reading. We'll see where we go here. All right. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah. Yeah. Everything in this cycle, it's funny, in the last cycle everything was kind of this. Right? You had the struggle within yourself. You had struggles with people. People fucked you over. People did this. People did that. This cycle is very balanced. It is a very stable core energy. It really is. Your, your emotions are going to be balanced with the Six of Pentacles crossing this. It also tells me your finances may get balanced if you allow all this stuff to happen. And don't fall on any devil energy cutting down these, these Ace of Wands, creating a burden on you. That could be that devil energy could be limitations you put on yourself by the things you tell yourself. Well, I don't have an education. I'm not good enough for that. Or I'm always going to be this. Or I'm never going to have that. Yeah, you never will if you keep saying that. Of course you won't. You're just attracting more devil energy. The devil loves that. They laugh at that. Ha <laughs> ha, great. Easy to create illusion around this person. Terrific. Stop it. Everything is coming into balance in this cycle. If you let the energy flow. Let your emotions flow. Feel what you're going to feel. 
Just keep feeling. Allow this intuition to flow as well. The corners matter here. What's this last card? What is it? Oh my God. That's absolutely incredible. Well, it's a star with a queen of swords. They wanted to come out together. I pull them out together. I've been getting this a lot. Double endings on things. With that six of pentacles crossing, of course. Uh, it's pretty magic. Okay? Cut it. The, the queen of swords with the star is basically the, the star crossed by the queen of swords. Okay? You can have anything you want. You're a manifesting machine in this cycle. The, the star off of the three of cups is a manifesting machine. All you, if you daydream it, it'll happen. Okay, it, it, I mean literally, it's 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 like bewitched. It's like snap your finger, boom, there it is, kind of a thing. Crossed by the Queen of Cups, or, or Queen of Swords. I'm sorry, but well, Freudian slip. But still, it is a little bit of that. Uh, use your head, use your discernment. Okay, make sure you don't have any devil negative thoughts about yourself. You are, the universe is warning you here. This is a very balanced, stable energy that makes it very powerful. Okay? You, you are a manifesting machine. I'm telling you that. And if you have any of these devil thoughts, mm, you're going you're gonna to screw it up. You need to cut all of that out. Use your discernment is what the energy around this card is. Look at her. She's thinking. She's very pensive. she got the sword and the sheath, but she's ready to take it out if she needs to. And she got some fancy sandals. That's always nice. Right there. It, it's a beautiful energy. It's all about the new energy coming in. It's all about the new cycle. It's all about you moving to, down new roads, trying new things, thinking new things about yourself, about others, about the past, letting some things go, Let, seeing things for what they are if they come in. Conflict with children, more than anything else, is a lot of the past. Seeing how you've grown, making sure you've grown, but also retaining some of that youthful, you know, thirst for life a little bit, you know, never stop learning kind of a thing. And you, there's a lot to learn in this new cycle too. It's never roses and rainbows. Some devil energy is showing up. As it shows up, cut it out, you know, and it'll, it instantly it won't turn into ten of wands. This ten of wands will go right back to this ace of wands and you'll have a new beginning with every devil energy you cut out. This is a beautiful reading. I got nothing bad to say about it. I know some of you won't like it because it's talking about your soulmate coming back and, and me saying that it's better in the new cycle and you should go down new roads. Oh, I don't see why that's bad. That's how I've lived my entire life. I love it. It's always something new. I, I never took anybody back who wanted to come back. Not one fucking time. Nope. We broke up for a reason. <laughs> you know, it's, it, energy flows. Energy readers call it the river for a reason. It keeps flowing. You try to swim upstream, it's ten wands of burden. It really is. And it creates a lot of static devil energy around you too. And it slows life down. And it creates these moments. You know, move forward. You have a lot to look forward to. You just need to believe that. That's all. If you do, you're all set. That's basically what this reading is saying with the high priestess here. You can feel it. But your brain, some of you, your brain is shutting this down. Your brain is a protection mechanism. Your ego protects. It doesn't want to... No, 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 no. Let's stick to the tried and true. Eh, the tried and true. How's the tried and true been working for you? You, you, got to, you got everything you want? I don't think so. Because I see everything you want here in the future. It's all a big future tense reading. The past is a pile of garbage. Ten swords that should cut it out. I mean, I could lump it for you like that is how I see the energy. And this ten swords also resets to an ace. So, it's nice. It's nice energy. I'm going to pull three cards from the witch's deck. See what else the universe wants to tell you. I'm going to do you a solid for those of you that are mad at me that you're waiting on a soulmate. And I told you to tell them to fuck off when they come in. I'm going to pull three cards. What's uh, this uh, runner soulmate from the cycle going to do here toward Virgo? What's going on with them? What are they thinking and feeling about Virgo right now? What's this runner soulmate thinking and feeling about Virgo right now? All right, I'm going to do you a solid here. <laughs> five of Wands, Lovers, and the Five of Pentacles. Well, if it does your heart good, you can do what you want with them. Right here, the sun crossing the lovers. They're feeling it on a high level. They feel you every day. You're in their spank bank. Why? Because they fucked up here. They left themselves out in the cold. They made a bad decision. They screwed up right here. Here's a five of wands representing them. And here's a five of wands representing them here. We get it right here. 
It was their own shit, their own fear of this energy. This is fear. This is devil energy on some level, the things we tell ourselves, the nonsense. Also, for some of you, this person did something, said something, did something, just shitty. Okay? And it left them out in the cold. And that's exactly, this is exactly where their soul is living right now. Take a look at that picture. Take a look at it. That's where their soul is living right now. And this, this shit, this is what they could have had. This, and they feel it. Okay? Yeah, they may return to you. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, look at that. Crossing the sun is the Knight of Wands. It's a brave, impulsive action. They want to, uh, but they haven't changed. It's what I told you before. There's no spiritual journey here. This is emotionally immature person who's still the same. This is why the universe is pleading with you, Virgo. Move forward. Take new roads. You've grown. You've changed. The energies from your past are the same that they were. They're going to leave you in the same. If you like where you're at right now and you want to stay there, you're in your dream home with your dream car, with your dream spouse and Everything is great and wonderful. Piles of money lying around. Terrific people around you. If you like, if you fine, then ignore the advice of the of the energy flow. But even if you are that person, the energy flow says it'll get better in the new cycle if you apply the lessons you've learned. Somebody here learned their lesson. You were their karma, as the kids like to say. Okay, good for them. They want to come charging in. If they do. It, it, they can get out as fast as they come in. I'll tell you what I told you on many readings, why I stopped pulling on you in the soulmate cycle, because they just want to bang you. That's it. They, for, for a great percentage of you, they, this sun crossed by the lovers with the five of wands and the five of pentacles is someone who missed the opportunity to bang you and wants a second chance at it. For some of you, that's what that means. For others of you, it's just someone who feels it feels they made a mistake. But I don't know that if they have the maturity to come in and apologize or not. The Knight of Wands doesn't really do that. Mm. They're, they're reflecting as Knight of Wands. You're reflecting as full-blown, best hits in the tarot, conservatively covered in this deck as a good virgin should be. Empress. Pure, blown, full-blown Empress energy. Right? And this one here, looking to get blown. All right, let's put it that way. That's your reading. That's what I got for you. You can take the advice of the universe if you want. I just read the energy. All right, that's it. But in my personal experience, take it for what it's worth to you. I always move forward in life. I always take the new road because there's always something, if nothing else, that page of wands, right, that was crossing here, this four of wands. There's always something kind of interesting down there. I learned something at the very least, good or bad. Most of the time, especially in this new energy, by the way, it's going to be good. So you might want to consider that. All right. That's your reading. Hope this was helpful. If I helped one virgin today, I've done my job. All right. Karmically speaking, anyway. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, Virgo. Good luck.